Hello everyone, I am Sonali Karawde, Assistant Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department of ASMS IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to discuss about in memory management placement strategy is important in operating system. So these are the uh, placement strategies. First, first one is the first bit, uh, base bit, worst bit and next bit. First bit in this uh in the first bit the partition is allocated which is the uh first <laughs> first sufficient block from the top of main memory it uh, scans memory from the beginning and choose the first available block that is uh, large enough thus it is allocated the first hole that is large enough so allocates the uh, first hole that is a uh, big enough. Searching can uh, start either at the beginning of the set of holes or uh, where the previous first bit search ended. The search stops as uh, as soon as it finds a free hole that is large enough. Next is the best bit. It allocates the process to the uh, partition which is first smallest sufficient partition among the free available partition. It searches the entire list of holes to find the smallest hole whose size is greater than or equal to the size of process. So allocate a smallest hole that is a big enough. Uh, this strategy uh, strategy uh, produces the smallest uh, uh, leftover uh, hole. So next is the worst fit. Worst uh, fit allocates the process to the partition, which is the largest sufficient amount the freely available partition available uh, uh, in the main memory. Uh, it is opposite to the base bit algorithm. It searches the entire list of holes to find the largest hole and allocate it to the process. So it allocates the largest hole and this strategy uh, produces the largest leaf over hole. Uh, which uh, may be more useful than the smaller uh, leaf over hole from the uh, best bit approach. So, uh, next, uh, next is the next bit. Next bit is the uh, is a similar to the first bit, but it will search for the first sufficient partition from the uh, last allocation point. So, this best bit is uh, really best. Uh, although base fit minimizes the uh, wasted space, it uh, consumes a lot of process time to uh, for searching the block which is close uh, to the required size. Also, base fit may perform uh, poorer than uh, other algorithm in same cases. So next is the fragmentation. What is fragmentation? A pro as a process as loaded. Uh, and remove from memory. The free uh, memory space is broken into the little pieces. It happens after some time, the process can, uh, cannot be allocated to the main, uh, memory block, considering their small size and memory block remains unused. This problem is null, uh, also known as the fragmentation. So these are uh, there are two types of fragmentation. First is the uh, first one is the external fragmentation and next is the internal fragmentation. External fragmentation, uh, the total memory space is enough to specif uh, specify a request or to decide a process in it, but it is not contiguous, so it is cannot be used. So next is the internal fragmentation. Uh, in that memory block assigned to a process is bigger, some portion of me uh, memory. Uh, memory is uh, left unused as it uh, cannot be used by another process. So next is the swapping. Swapping is the, uh, is the operating system in memory management uh, scheme that temporarily swap out an ideal or block process from the main memory to secondary memory, which ensure proper memory utilization and memory availability for those processes which are ready to be executed. So the area of secondary memory uh, where swap out process are stored is called swap space. Swap space. The swapping method forms a temporary queue to swap process in the secondary memory 
and in this case, the higher priority process, the process with low priority is wrap out uh, of the main memory and stored in swapped space. Then the process with high priority swaps into the main memory to be executed first. The main goal of operating system executes includes maximum utilization of the CPU. This means that there should be a process execution every time. The CPU should never stay idle and there should not be any process starvation or block. So these are the different uh, process management and memory management schemes are designed to fulfill such goals of the operating system. The swapping in OS is done to get access to data present in secondary memory and transfer it to the main memory so that it can be used by the application program. So it is it can uh, affect the performance of the system, uh, but it helps to running uh, more than one process by managing the memory. Therefore, swapping uh, in OS is also known as memory compaction techniques. So this diagram shows the uh, swapping of processes. In this uh, operating system, user space is there in main memory. In secondary memory, there are two processes, process one and process uh, process P1 and process P2. Uh, so operating uh, in user space, uh, swap out process P1 and swap in process P2. So next uh, concept is that the paging. Paging in mem uh, in is a memory management uh, scheme that uh, eliminates the need of contiguous allocation of physical memory. This scheme permits the physical address space of the process to be a non-contiguous. Paging is a fixed size partition scheme. In paging, secondary memory and main memory are divided into equal fixed size partition. The partition of secondary memory are called as pages. The partition uh, the uh, partition of uh, main memory then <coughs> then next is the uh, advantages of the paging are it allows to store part of a single process in non-contiguous fashion so it solves the problem of external uh, fragmentation. Disadvantages is that uh, it suffers from internal fragmentation. There is an overhead of maintaining a page table for each process. And the time taken for fetch the instruction increases since now two memory access are required. So that these are the advantages and disadvantages of that uh, paging. Uh, then next is next concept is page table. The page table is a data structure. It maps the pages number reference by the CPU to the frame number where that page is stored. Characteristics uh, of page table. Page table is stored in the main memory. Number of entries in a page table, number of pages in which the process is divided. Page table uh, base register that is PTBR contains the base address of page table. Each process has its own independent page table. Then uh, it provides the base address of the uh, page table. Then base address of the page table is added uh, with the page number referred by CPU. And it gives the entry of the page table containing the frame number you know, where the reference page is stored. So page, uh, page table entry contains several information about the page. This information contained in the page table entry varies from operating system in operating system. So next is the segmentation. Segmentation is the memory management technique in which each job is divided into several segments from different sites, one from each module that contains piece that performs related functions. Each segment is actually a different logical address space uh, of the program where uh, a process is to be executed, its corresponding segmentation are loaded into non-contiguous memory. To every segment is loaded into a contiguous block of available memory. So, basically, segmentation memory management works very similar to paging, but here segments are variable length. 
the variable length, where are the paging, uh, pages are of fixed size. So for each segment, the page uh, table stores the starting address of the segment uh, and the length of the segment. The, a reference to the main uh, memory location includes a value that identifies the segment and, and an object. So this is the uh, segment table. Uh, in that, uh, uh, it maps two dimensional logical address into one dimensional physical address. Each table entry has base address and limit. <coughs> Thank you.